I've been asked by several people what the best way is to transfer their pictures from their iPad onto their computer in order to preserve space on their iPads. There really is several ways to do this. You can use Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, Google Plus. All of those are ways that you can transfer your pictures. I think the best way though in order to preserve both the size and resolution of your pictures as well as not having to worry about the uploads and downloads and storage space in the cloud is to just go ahead and plug your iPad into your computer. Um, so once you do that, it will come up and ask you on your iPad whether or not you want to trust the computer. Make sure you answer yes. And then once you plug it into your uh, Macintosh, iPhoto will probably pop right up. If it doesn't, for some reason, you can find your iPhoto on the side over here. Click that open. If that isn't there, uh, then under your Finder, you can go to Applications, scroll down to iPhoto, and open that up. Mine opened right up because I usually do transfer the photos that way, so it asked me whether or not I want to import the photos. I could import selected if it was just a couple of photos I wanted to transfer over out of the group, but if you want to get them off of your iPad, make sure you transfer them all. You can see I don't have very many on there. I try to make it a habit, whatever I'm using, whether it be a device or a camera, to transfer them onto here so that they're all in one place and then delete them off whatever device I'm using. So I'm going to say import four photos. You're going to see over here that this little dial is telling me that it's running through. Uh, once that's done, it will ask you if you want to delete the photos on your iPad. I don't do that right away. I do keep the photos on the iPad in case something crashes in the transfer here. I could end up losing them on both. So I'm going to say keep photos. And if there were pictures with faces up here, there would be a little dial running next to the faces. Depending on how many pictures you actually are transferring, this could take a little while. So make sure you've given yourself enough time to be able to transfer all of those. The faces does take a little while to run through, and there is no way that I know of to stop uh, it searching for the faces. So make sure this dial has stopped up here before you go to unplug your iPad from there. Once you're ready to unplug it, everything's run through, then go down here, click under Devices and your iPad name. Go ahead and control click that and it will come up with an unmount. Once I click unmount, uh, then I can unplug my iPad from the computer. I'm going to open up and just make sure that those pictures really did make it through and they really are there. That may include having to go through several events to be able to look at things. Uh, once I'm sure they're there, then I'm going to close out of iPhoto. A reminder to always back your pictures up one way or another using Time Machine or something because if there is a crash for any reason you would lose everything. So don't keep them all in one place.